Hello, and welcome to our eighth COVID-19 market update with Thomas Caldwell. Today is July 22nd, 2020, and about 18 weeks since we started self-isolating and social distancing. Tom, in regard to COVID-19, where does Canada stand economically? Economically, businesses are still having a very hard time, particularly small enterprises. Uh, many of them have tried to reopen restaurants, say with patios, uh, stores with spatial distancing. That's still not covering costs, so the impact is on the negative side still quite significantly. We've seen an uptick in retail sales, but that's coming off a very low base of a month earlier. The, the government programs are helping a little bit, but these are tremendous amounts of debt being created. And it, the benefit is, is, is marginal at best. For example, a lot of retailers are not getting the rental benefits that were supposed to flow through. Land, large landlords haven't applied for it to redistribute to their tenants. So that's a very, very difficult thing for uh, merchants in, in big plazas or, or big centers like downtown Toronto. So there are some real challenges here. Uh, we are trying to work through it. We are trying to adapt. Uh, and, and you have macro problems like the energy in Alberta. So there's other things going on aside from the COVID shutdown. But I think the longer this lasts, the more difficult it will, to be, will be to reopen. And I think unemployment after COVID is going to remain relatively high because some of these jobs aren't going to come back. So it's a, it's a challenging time. So what, are your, what is your view on the financial markets at this present time? Well, interesting, financial markets are looking beyond COVID. Uh, the assumption is a, a vaccine is going to be found at some point in time, that uh, the numbers will taper off as we go on in time. And a lot of pandemics do decline over time because the more virulent part of the virus, it kills people, therefore it isn't passed on. So that is, is an area where markets are saying, okay, what are the bigger issues beyond COVID? And the bigger issues coming now are really trade issues insofar as they relate to, say, the presidential election. Uh, President Trump uh, needs and likes China as an enemy, so you're going to see a lot of anti-China uh, rhetoric going on. Uh, this can be quite damaging to world trade and markets. And remember, part of our export markets is, of course, raw materials, which our big customer is China. Uh, that They seem to be picking up and holding in all right. But uh, as we get toward the end of July, there's kind of an interesting phenomenon going to happen. There's a big Chinese underwriting to take place in the New York Stock Exchange. It will be interesting to see whether the president says, no, you can't have access to our capital markets or anything like that. That could be quite damaging to markets. So the markets are beyond COVID to what's going on in the November election, what's the rhetoric going to be, who are the, who are the people that are going to get slagged in that process. So it's, a, it's going to be tricky at the macro, at the trade, at the election level. Thank you so much for your time, Tom. Thank you, Liz. And thank you for watching. Stay safe and healthy.